this method can help answer key questions in the biomedical field, such as the use of zebrafish to generate genetic models of disease. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows early identification of genotypes using a simple high-throughput method. Though this method can enable extensive research using zebrafish models of genetic epilepsies, it can also be applied to other genetic disease models and any type of mutation study. Generally, individuals new to this method may have difficulties as the transection of the larval fin must be precisely performed within the pigment gap of the tail. Prior to starting the fin clipping of the zebrafish larvae, prepare the dissection surface. Tape a piece of autoclave tape across the interior surface of a 9 cm petri dish lid and position the lid under a stereo microscope. Prepare a P1000 pipette tip for accommodating a 3 DPF larva with minimal stress by cutting off the end of the pipette tip to a diameter of 2 mm. Place 3 to 5 days post fertilization, or DPF, zebrafish larvae in a petri dish and anesthetize in 1.5 millimolar tricane in 1x E3 embryo medium. Using the modified P1000 micropipette, pick up an anesthetized zebrafish larva and place it onto the positioned autoclave tape on the petri dish lid. Remove excess tricane solution surrounding the larva. The area should be as dry as possible to successfully section and pick up the fin, but still wet to ensure survival. To avoid bleeding and ensure survival of the larva during fin clipping, the transection must occur.